Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Brooks appalled by Hope's news. And Steffi finds out Finn was with Shyla. The bold and the beautiful Hope tells Brooke and Ridge about her role in Deacon's wedding. Finn refuses to be Deacon's best man, and Finn reaffirms his commitment to Steffi. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. At Forrester, Hope defends Deacon caring for Shyla. Brooke exclaims that Shyla has brought misery and violence to their lives. Why would her father want to be with someone like that? Ridge argues that Deacon is being played. Brooke hollers, she can't be trusted. Steffi agrees, yes, and adds, and I don't trust anyone who thinks she can be. She doesn't care what Deacon does as long as Shyla and anyone who supports her stays away from Finn. Brooke understands Hope wanting to support her father, but in this case, Ridge thinks she should just stay away from him. And Shyla, Steffi says that's what Finn is going to do. Ridge thinks Deacon should too, but that's not going to happen. Hope says Deacon is devoted to Shyla. Brooke thinks she should put her foot down. Deacon's exposing her family to danger. She gops, what about Beth? You don't want to expose her to Shyla. Hope says of course not. She'll always do her best to protect the children. Steffi fumes, my children will never be around Shyla. If Deacon's foolish enough to marry that woman she doesn't care. Her focus is her husband and kids. He knows to stay away from that psychopath. Hope muses that she gave her husband an ultimatum. Steffi says damn right she did. Finn's going to stay away, and Deacon should too. Hope recaps, so you've convinced Finn not to see Shyla. Steffi says, yeah, I don't care if Shyla's his biological mother. I don't care if he tried to save her. His loyalty is to me. At El Giardino, Shyla tells Finn that their wedding won't be the same without him there. Finn supports their relationship. Shayla complains that he can't do this because his wonderful, over-controlling wife won't allow it. She wants him to be part of her happiness and join them. Just say yes. Say that you will be Deacon's best man. Is that too much for me to ask? We want you to be a part of our wedding. Finn appreciates being asked and realizes Shayla would like more. Shayla is just glad he doesn't see her as a monster. She's done terrible things but has been working on herself. Deacon's seen and Finn has too. Maybe Steffi will as well. She saved her mother's life and Kelly's life at the beach. Finn flashes to when he got distracted and Shyla ran into the water after the girl. He's thankful she was there. Deacon says Shyla's not a threat to his family. She risked her life to try and stop Sugar from harming Steffi and the kids. Shyla would do anything to protect Finn's precious family. I only wish I could have spared Steffi from what happened that night. She pleads that their wedding will be simple. Maybe at the beach. Surely, you can talk Steffi into this one thing. After all, he is the reason she and Deacon are back together again. Finn wants her to be happy and he wishes her the best, but he can't be at her wedding. Finn tells Shashala she deserves a beautiful ceremony. He's sorry he can't be a part of it. She grumps because of Steffi. Finn says he will always put his wife first, enjoy the wedding okay, and good luck with the ceremony. With that he walks out. At Forrester Ridge barks into the phone about rescheduling a meeting. He disconnects and rejoins Brooke and Hope. Where were we? Brooke tells Hope there's no middle ground where Shyla's concerned. She can't start seeing Shyla the way Deacon does. Hope assures her she won't, but they can't ignore that it wasn't Shyla who was at the cliff house that night trying to harm Steffi. Brooke stresses that she can't give Shyla any consideration. Hope is just trying to maintain some kind of bond with her father. Brooke says that won't happen if he's married to Shyla. Hope has something else to tell them and she didn't want to say it in front of Steffi. Brooke rolls her eyes. Don't tell me he wants you to be there. Hope says he wants her to be Shyla's maid of honor. At El Giardino, Deacon tells Shyla he's so sorry and holds her. Shyla really thought Finn would say yes. Deacon thinks he wanted to. Shyla could just envision him as Deacon's best man, sharing one of the most important days of her life. 
Deacon will get her fire eaters and punnies to make it everything she dreamed it would be. Shayla gushes that she's finally marrying a man who truly loves her for her. Deacon vows to get a scare writer. He hates to see her heartbroken like this. You're not alone, and you're not going to be alone ever again. Shyla says he's amazing. She complains that Steffi would rather see Finn miserable than feel differently about her. I remember the look on his face, how joyous it was when he found me in that warehouse and realized I was alive. She didn't feel that today. He was distant because he had to be. Steffi, she's never going to allow it. She's never going to think I'm worthy of my son's love. At the cliff house, Steffi finishes getting the kids to bed as Finn comes in. She purrs, this is a nice surprise, and folds him into a kiss and hug. He's sorry he missed tucking the kids in. She asks, what's going on with you? He says he had something to deal with. She asks if it was a new case. He sighs, Shyla and Deacon. At Forrester Ridge declares, this is crazy. Brooke gops, Deacon expects you to be Shyla's maid of honor? Ridge assumes she declined immediately. Hope tells them she hasn't ruled it out. Brooke exclaims, oh my god, this is what Steffi was talking about and I didn't want to believe her. You cannot let Deacon influence you like this, honey. You can't be embracing Shyla. Hope insists she isn't inviting her into her life. Ridge says she just needs a crack to slither in. Brooke declares, no way. No, Hope asks her to understand that this is not about Shyla, but her relationship with her dad. At the cliff house, Steffi says she thought Shyla wasn't going to be an issue for them anymore. Finn says that's why he's telling her what happened. He reveals that they're getting married and Deacon asked him to be his best man. He went to the restaurant to turn him down in person and Shyla showed up. Steffi guesses she tried to undermine their relationship and begged him to come to the wedding. Finn says he can't be at their wedding, his commitment is to her and their family. Steffi muses that it gives Shyla another reason to hate her. Finn says it was his decision and Steffi should never forget how much he loves her. I'm so sorry, Steffi, Hope whispered her voice thick with emotion. Steffi shook her head, tears streaming down her cheeks. I don't understand, she murmured, her voice barely a whisper. Why would he do this? Brooke racked her arms around Steffi offering her a comforting embrace as they navigated the storm of emotions together. There were no easy answers, no quick fixes to heal the wounds that had been inflicted upon their family. As night descended upon the Forrester mansion, Hope and Brooke stayed by Steffi's side, their presence a silent reassurance of their unwavering support. The betrayal had shaken them to their core, but they would face the storm together, drawing strength from the bonds that held their family together. In the days that followed, they would confront Finn and confront Shyla, each in their own way seeking closure and understanding. For now, in the quiet solitude of the living room where their journey had begun, they clung to each other, united in their determination to weather the storm and emerge stronger on the other side. But deep down, Brooke couldn't shake the chilling thought that Sheila Carter's return had brought with it not just chaos, but a dark omen of more troubles yet to come. And as they faced the uncertain future ahead, she knew that their family's resilience would be tested once again in ways they could never have imagined.